Welcome back to Julia, Among the Stars. It's time to go underwater. First, let's go back to this, the source of this radio signal thing and see if I can do anything with that, can I? No, okay, so I guess that's done. Let's go to the water. Freeze! What is wrong, Rachel? Not you, I meant Mobot. There's a living alien animal on the shore. Look at it, it's so cute. What a magnificent creature. Observation. It must have been tossed here by the ocean. Obviously, it's an oceanic creature who can't survive on this cliff. Mobot, can you take it up here? Warning. If I brought this creature up to the probe, it would not survive the transfer. That's fine. I'll have the opportunity to perform an autopsy on an actual extraterrestrial complex life form. That's something I have wanted to do since this expedition began. You feel comfortable killing an innocent creature? It's just an animal, Julia. And what if it is sentient? This thing? Not likely. How can you be so sure, Rachel? What do you know about it? It's your choice. Okay, that's an easy choice. What the hell is wrong with you, Rachel? You don't know what the fuck this thing is, and you're like, yeah, well, yeah, kill it, why not? It's probably not sentient. Yeah, well, guess what? The fucking stones that you saw back there probably weren't sentient, but then they rose up, and it turns out that they're vastly more intelligent than you ever have been or could possibly ever be. The stones, Rachel. The fucking... Did you say Julia? I meant Rachel. The fucking stones were sentient. If a stone can be sentient, then, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna kill this thing. Get back in the water. You're right. Let it live. So you've decided to release it? Yeah, there's nobody I could share my research with anyway. As you wish, Rachel. I will place the creature back in the water. Thank you, Rachel. Watch. What do you bet? Like, we're gonna go down into the water. And then we're gonna get captured by, like, some race of super smart sentient sea creatures. And it turns out that that creature was one of their sons. And they're all like, we're gonna kill you, Mobot. But then the son is like, this, this, daddy, this person, this robot saved me. And then they're like, oh, okay, you're cool. And then, and then everything's good. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Let's find the source of that mysterious signal. How would you like some fresh seawater in your joints, Mobot? You are extremely thoughtful, Rachel. Do you want to join me down there? Not really. What the heck is this? I... don't know. I have no data on this. It's our submarine! You must know what it's doing down here. You know that my memory blocks were partially erased. I think we can safely assume the crew was here at Xenobia. Let's explore the wreck so we can find out why it sent the distress signal. I don't like this one bit. It seems to be more than a coincidence to me. The submarine lies shattered on the ocean bed. It is clearly of Earth design. The cause of the destruction was a high-speed crash into an underwater rocky cliff. No one could have survived the initial impact. Only two questions remain. Why would the submarine travel at such high speeds through this rocky area? And what sent the distress signal we received? Hmm. Perhaps it was running from something? Well, it. It. As if the, the submarine itself is sentient. Perhaps they were running from something? Or maybe they were fed bad data as everybody seems to have been fed very bad data about various things like the level of radiation. Mushrooms. Glowing underwater mushrooms. Hmm. Those mushrooms glow in the dark. Let's get a specimen. I want to know more. Mushroom loaded. This bioluminescent mushroom is similar to the Earth mushroom known as... <clears throat> Give me two minutes to try to figure this out. Omphalotus. Olerius. Oh, that's not too bad. Omphalotus olerius. The cause of the glow is the same, is the same enzyme luciferase. Lu lucif luciferase? 
This points to the existence of common biological elements throughout our galaxy. Those cliffs, they meant doom for the crew. But why? What were they doing here? And why drive full speed in such dangerous terrain? So many questions I'm never going to get an answer for. Wait, but... There's the possibility we could go inside and read their data pads, right? Maybe you will get the answer. I wonder what I'm going to find inside. I'm sure it won't be anything pretty. Just one dead body after another. Pull yourself together, Rachel. There is nothing you can do. This place is dark. Mobot, activate your IR camera, please. Of course. Just a second. I am unable to activate it anymore. You mean it's broken? The IR operations plug-in license expired 30 years ago. Are <sighs> you serious? There's no bloody way they would use timed licenses for such a mission. According to my calculations, it looks more like a programming error. Nobody counted on a mission as long as 500 years. Incredible. So, what should we do? I have a backup solution. Oh, Bring the lights! It on. However, for some reason I can't locate the important spots here, so you are on your own. Oh, not the lights? Oh, I thought maybe the, uh, the lights that I found on that ice planet. Apparently it's just a flashlight that follows my cursor. I think we are wasting our time. There are too many of these crates. Alright, let's leave them be for the time being. Wasting our time, there's too many crates. Julia... Like, haven't you been here for at least 60 years? Because that's about how long Rachel was asleep for. So, like, what's the rush? This scuba gear is broken beyond repair. And it didn't save anyone. I think we there are... Alright, let's leave. Hmm. Keep saying that we're wasting our time by looking at the crates, but they're still examinable. Would be something will become of that. Weeds? Those weeds are interesting. I wonder if they're similar to the oceanic life on Earth. That's a good question, Rachel. However, keep in mind that we know next to nothing about ocean life on Earth. I know. I wonder how much it's changed there. Maybe now it's all just one big ocean, like here on Xenobia. Do you see the subtitles for that? Julia said something like, we know next to nothing ocean lifer. <laughs> that was weird. Mobot, please obtain a sample for me. Reveals that those alien plants are actually small invertebrates forming plant-like shapes by massing together. Neat. I can still examine them? Those weeds. I wonder if... That's a good question, Rachel. Okay, it just repeats. However, yeah, look at keep that. in mind that next we know next to nothing, to nothing ocean about lifer. ocean life on Earth. I know. I wonder if maybe now it's like here on... I can still examine... That's weird. I can still examine the crates. I can still examine the weeds. <laughs> yeah, the uh, reveal hotspots doesn't work here. Just look at this. Ooh. Mobot, switch off your light. We don't want to scare it away. Hi. It appears to set up roost inside of one of the crew members' bodies. Now this is something you should study. No kidding. It's beautiful. I wonder what the source of that translucent light is. I would bet on a chemical origin. It's embracing the corpse as if it's trying to comfort it. Observation. The body has a data pad stuck in a pocket. Do you want me to recover it? That would be great. However, we need to lure that creature away so you won't hurt it. Mobot, 
Try shining your light on it. It should go away. Affirmative. It's moving. Uh, did it go away or did it explode? Retreat! <laughs> Retreat. Wait, I'm actually supposed to do so something here? here comes the life form. What do we do? It's obvious that they're sensitive to the light. It lures them closer. Hmm. I wonder if we can find some other way to control their behavior. Mobot, that audio upgrade we built inside of you, is it capable of generating sound frequencies? There is limited support to that function. That's a great idea, Rachel. I will create a custom interface so you can easily control that. Let's experiment a bit first. Whatever you do, be careful. I've had my share of electrical charges already. Don't worry. Just remember that to trigger a response, you might want to go slowly. We are not sure how fast it reacts. Okay. So, pitch and modulation. Well, modulation might not be the right word. You have to say pulse. Ooh, I can make music with this thing. I didn't say good music. Look, she's reacting to this frequency. But there is still no change in behavior. Let's try it with the pulse added. Well, that did nothing. Don't touch the frequency rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do something, you luminescent fucker. I went damn slow through the whole pulse spectrum. Do I need to maybe just not hold it down but release it at certain points? There we go. Aha! Now we have much better control over that life form. We can lure them using the light and repel them with the sound. Why do you think it's scared of that sound? I believe we might have just discovered something used by some of her natural enemies. In that case, I don't want to meet its natural enemies. All right. I will construct a simplified interface and let's try to trap it. Okay, so we go back inside. Let's lure it. Let's try again. Hopefully, you're better prepared this time. I, I thought you were the one that was supposed to prepare us. Oh wait, do you mean, oh wait, do you mean there's a blueprint we need to make or Oh, no, it's, it's done. <laughs> Retreat. Um Retreat? Does that mean I can actually die? I'm curious. I'm gonna try it. Let's uh, save the game. Alright, come here.
She's trying to feed on the strange stuff on the pipe. Come here. It doesn't react to anything. Time to retreat and wait until it gets back to the corpse. Do you think you can sneak by, Mobot? I am not even going to try that. One electrocution was enough. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> so does that mean I have to get rid of this stuff? Otherwise, it's just gonna latch onto it and stay. It always repel it, though, right? I could go back. It doesn't react to anything. Oh. Do you think you can? I am not e one. E okay. Okay. Let's just wait outside. Need to come up with a better plan. I, I, I don't know. Is there something inside of these crates that you insisted you didn't want to open? Observation. This metal was once part of the submarine's hull. It must have been torn away when the submarine crashed. Wait, the submarine crashed? When? I think we are wasting our time. There are too many of these crates. All right. I think there are two. All right. Oh, you can search this one. It's a small crate. There's not a lot to find. Sweep the screen. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Got the weeds. Wait, exit outside down the ladder to the. Wait, down. Oh, down the ladder. I can go down here. Yeah, there's to the front, down the ladder, and exit outside, so there's actually a third place to go that I didn't see. Let's see if we can do anything with the weeds. Oh yeah, I can remove them. Okay. Let's take away her favorite treat. <laughs> that sound sounded like we just burned them or something. Like they just smoldered. Right, Apology, yeah. the path below is blocked by debris. I would estimate it's from the crash. Oh. Well, never mind. I think we there are two. All right. Let All right. Let's go do it again. Let's try. Hopefully. Okay. There we go. Come closer. I, I suppose now I should probably save it. Okay, let's see if it eats us. Closer. It's getting too close. Okay, it just <laughs> it just stops. All right. Let's try. Hopefully. All right, do it twice and then retreat. I can't retreat, the door behind me is closed. Just exit the submarine. We need to find out how to deal with this beauty. Okay. Really? You're just gonna exit the entire submarine? For the love of God. Let's try, hopefully. Okay, let's try attracting it and then rebelling it, I guess? I'm not sure why it wouldn't just go back to where it was. Yeah, it just goes back to where it was. Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. I definitely need something else. There's something I'm missing. Obviously I need to trap it in something, but trap it in what? There's, I don't have anything to trap it with at the moment. Something on the screen, yeah. Just ex All right, so is there some way I can prepare this place? Oh wait, there, wait, there's more weeds? Those we I wonder if that's a good however. I know. I wonder how maybe now it like here. I wasn't Let's even take away her favorite treat. But she wasn't even like getting stuck on it. So why? I don't know.
I think there are... All right. Like, do I have a, a net of some sort? So I can capture this alien jellyfish? Wait a minute, lever. Hmm. Really gotta pixel hunt this scene. There's probably other stuff I've missed. What the? It closed. Alright, sweep the screen, top to bottom, further down the corridor. Let me guess. I can guess what you're going to say. I think we are there. <sighs> Alright. There's got to be a plot point involving these crates, right? Like, there's a serial number you can find on them and you need to find the right one because it contains the item that you found in a log or something. Like, we put the traps for the jellyfish things in crate N-243-S. Rods. Could do with a good hard rod in my hand. This rusty metal brace was originally designed to keep things apart. Cool. Okay, so we attract the thing to come near us. And then we knock it out by hitting it over the head, and then we tie up its hands and tie it to a chair. Yeah. And then we'll make it talk. It'll squeal. Oh, yeah. I think there are two... Alright, let's... Fucking crates. I never want to see another crate again. Ever. I'm not falling for your shit, crates. Nope. I'm not gonna look at you. Alright, let's go further down the corridor. I am detecting an unstable environment. Do you really want me to proceed? Yes. No, we're not going to risk that. Let's proceed with caution. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, I think that's it. Just the rods. What do I do with them, though? So they were originally used to hold stuff open. Alright. Could I hold open the large crate and attract it over to the crate? I think there are two. Alright, let. That doesn't make much sense. What about the small crate? I think crate? No. there are two. Alright. What about this one? I think there are two. Alright, let. Oh, wait, what about this one? I think we- there are two- <laughs> Alright. <Nope. laughs> Probably can't interact with anything around here until the life form is gone. Yeah, I don't know. I think there are... Alright. I'm kind of confused about how this whole thing is set up, because I'm coming into the submarine into the storage room, right? And then I'm going to the front. But then from the front, there's two exits. I can go outside or back to the storage room. How can there be two exits but only one entrance? Like, what? Anyway. Let's try, hopefully. Maybe I can use my bars while we're waiting? Like, while I'm here? I can't seem to interact with the scene. Like, nothing's highlighting.
I mean, this box is right here, like I'm supposed to... I mean, I could just imagine, you know, doing something with this box. And then making it back up, right? Like, making it repel over the box or something? Or something? I mean, it's right there. I can't do anything in the scene at the moment. I have to prepare everything beforehand, I think. Come closer! Oh no, it's we have to getting... retreat! I don't get it. Can I, like, gather a sample from something up here and use it to lure it or something? I mean, I know there's coral up here. I've already taken. Mm hmm. Nope. No, not a single thing to interact with here. Hmm. I've probably just missed a hotspot. Alright, I'm not supposed to analyze the bars. And that's the crate that it keeps going right over. I can't do anything with it. I think there are... Alright. I have no damn clue what I'm missing. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything more in here. I wish the highlight hotspot thing just worked here. I don't like pixel hunting. I don't get it. Alright, well, I'm gonna work at this and I'll be right back. Oh, okay. There we go. I just looked up a walkthrough because I don't have much patience for this game's puzzles anymore, to be honest. Uh, apparently we're supposed to use it to keep this door open. I think. Somehow? How, how, do, how do we do that? Okay, I can move back there, but how do I use the damn thing? I guess we're supposed to lure it back there and hold it in? How do I use it? Oh, there we go. What? There we go. Okay, I... Yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's just really weird because my special sense in here is just totally screwed. I just realized I haven't actually looked at this window down, uh, this mini-map down here, which would help with that, although I'm looking at it right now and I'm still not understanding it. Hold on, let's go back out. Like... I didn't realize that this was the door behind me that was closed that he kept talking about. I, I don't know, because, again, this place seems to have two exits but only one entrance, which is already weird enough and fucks with my mind. Okay, I see that. I see that. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so... Wait, what? Wait, which, way am I, which way am I facing here? It looks like I'm facing the wall, but I'm looking out at, like, down the corridor. So I guess I'm looking... Oh, and I'm looking this way? Yeah. Wait, so my back isn't even to the door. I've moved to the side of the door. Like, what? I don't know. There's, for some reason, my spatial sense in here is just not working right. This doesn't... Uh, this place is just, just weird. I didn't know what the hell... What door was actually behind me. There's something about the setup of this place that's just not right. Let's try, hopefully. Yeah, to make it even worse, the minimap doesn't even pop up in this screen, so. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's just really weird. 
It's hard to get a feel for where I actually moved here. Okay, so now I can track it again because instead of him saying the door behind me is closed, it's going to be open. Although, wait. But isn't Moobot too big to fit inside of the door? Uh, Mobot, sorry, not Moobot, whatever. Like, he's huge. Eh, whatever. It's getting too close. Wait, what? Uh, okay. I'm extra confused, though. Not not because of what just happened. I don't know. I, it'll probably be easy to solve, but I'm just thinking of the fact that I don't, I don't feel like Mobot can actually fit through these doors. He's kind of huge. But then in his little screen that keeps popping up, he's like... It's like he's... almost looks like he's detached. Like he's... The little... the small version of him. Like the detachable head that's just like the camera that can float around. I guess that's the case? But if that's the case, if he's just a floating head, then how has he been doing all of this? Like, how did he move the bar into place? If he's just a floating head and a camera, obviously he can't use his hands. So I, I don't, I'm so confused now. Like, my spatial sense and my sense of reality is just warped at this point. I don't understand, like, I don't understand where I am or what I am anymore. And if it is just the camera that's detached, then why did I even need the whole underwater thing? Because the underwater thing is just... Like, it wasn't waterproofing, was it? Wasn't it just propellers? So if the camera thing can move independently of the propellers, then why did I... I'm so confused. Let's try, hopefully. This life form was beautiful, but now I just hate it and want it to die. Okay, so if I attract it again, everybody freaks out. So what if I repel it? Oh, we can retreat, right? And retreat will take me into the door instead of just leaving like he did before. Let's wait a yes, little while. Yes, okay. Here they come again. Yes, they fell for our little trap. Allow me to inform you that I am not particularly excited. Yeah, he's kind of trapped in here now, right? Mmm, I could repel it. It can't leave, obviously. Yeah. Oh, Mobot, okay. quick! Shut the door. Affirmative. We did it! We've isolated that thing! It's very angry. I am not going anywhere near the door. Okay. Thank God that's over. That was weird. That was really weird. All right. Yeah, now we've changed perspective again, which is also extra weird, but yeah, this is where it went. We were down the hall. Wait. We were down that We were looking from down here. We were actually down the hallway, but he said that was so unsafe that he didn't want to go there. I, I guess because he had to, he went... I. This is like... Am I crazy or is nothing making sense? I'm just gonna leave. We're done with that. It's over. It's- oh, whoa. What the hell? The lighting just changed dramatically. I guess now it's because this place isn't being illuminated by the life form. Observation. The chest has been ripped apart. I'm glad that we trapped it. You seem to be awfully calm, Rachel. Well, judging by the timeline of the expedition, this poor soul died long ago. I am curious if the data pad is still operational. What was with Julia's tone of voice? Like, you seem awfully calm, Rachel. What, does she think that Rachel murdered them or something? The trap door. I wonder what's up there. I don't think you want to know, Rachel. Why? It's all those people who were on this submarine at the time of the impact. And this one here? He never made it inside before they sealed the hatch. 
and in the end, sealing him outside didn't save their lives at all. I've seen enough corpses at this point, I'm not scared of it. What the? Huh. The background image is displaced here. There's, there seems to be a fracture in the background image. My brain hurts. Where does the fracture stop? It looks like it stops right about here. My brain hurts. Ow. I'm gonna stop playing now before I go crazy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.